Check one, two. Two. Oh, that's not that loud. Mm. Bump it up, bump it up. Bump it up, bump it up. More, 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 more. Hey, hey. Yes. Check. Let's Can y'all hear me yet? Okay, good to know. Good, good, good. All right, all right. Yo, I'm going to turn off the fans for a minute because they are making a lot of noise. But it is crazy hot in here, so I will turn them on later on when I'm streaming the music part of the set. Because, of course, we don't need, uh, you're not going to hear it that clear. Okay, so let's see. I want to do one quick check to see what is happening now on uh, LinkedIn. Because I should also be live on LinkedIn. By the way, just to do the quick intro, my name is DJ TLM, I'm the last Mohican. I'm about to do my mix show called Crates. You can watch that on Mixcloud, on Twitch, and on Twitter. But before I get into that, I just want to share my setup. I will do like a proper video on my YouTube channel in the near future, but I've been saying that for a while. So just to give you a little insight, I'm going to show you, um, just do a little freestyle showcase. Yeah, this one needs a little bit. This is the little mic here. That needs to be a little louder. Hold up. Check one, two, 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 check one, two. Ah, I'm on channel two. My normal mic is on channel one. And channel one is way louder. So, this should be better now. Right? Yeah. I see the readouts, but I, I saw some people say, like, yeah, it's good to go. Um, so, don't lie to me. Be honest. When I ask how's the audio, don't tell me it's great when it's too low. Just let me know. So, props to all the people letting me know it's, uh, it needed some more volume. So, once again, I'm going to show you my setup before I begin. Uh, so is LinkedIn working? I see we got Facebook, we got Twitch, YouTube is here. Twitter is live, but we can't see Twitter, and Mixcloud is live, and I got my phone over there so we can see any comments there. So unfortunately, I'm using a service called Restream to stream to multiple platforms. So right now, I'm streaming to Twitch, LinkedIn, Mixcloud, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Now I can see we got 15 people on YouTube. Twitch fam is coming in, got 16 rolling in there now, six on Facebook. I can't see how many people there are on Mixcloud. I can't see LinkedIn, and I can't see uh, Twitter. So hopefully they'll fix that in the future, and hopefully I can get all of your comments in one chat window instead of all over the place. And for the people hearing static, yes. You're tuning in a little bit later. I turned off two, two of the fans already. There's one fan still going. And um, that is part of the static. The other part might be that I'm using a little microphone here. But uh, it is very, very hot. So I need a little bit of air in here. So again, before I get into my mix stream, I'm just going to share a little bit of my setup with you in this video because people have been asking me for a long time. Now, I use different setups, so this is not the only way I play. Uh, I'm always, always um, testing. So yes, you're hearing one fan. It's the same noise as this one, only this one is right next to me. You're hearing the one that's all the way on the other side. 
Uh, and even by turning these other two off, it's already <laughs> getting hotter by the second. Now, when I'm DJing, you know I have a different microphone, so we won't have these uh, these issues. But uh, it's 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 feeling like summer here in Amsterdam right now. It is crazy. Uh, but I'm not complaining, though. People complain too much. Okay, so let me just quickly see if I can even... I don't even know. This is my first time streaming the LinkedIn. They just approved me. I'm not even sure where I can see <laughs> my, uh, my streaming output. So just quickly, let me see if there's a way to see that. Okay, found myself. Okay, that's dope. So yes, it is working. Uh, do I have to click join live to see it live? Ah, there we go, okay. So unfortunately, LinkedIn is also in a different window. But it is what it is. Okay, so let me start at the beginning. Software-wise, because I'm sitting behind the computer anyway, this right here, <laughs> normally I'll share my screen, but now I'll do it like this. Uh, this is a program called, uh-oh. Uh whoa, whoa. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Is that connection coming back? Don't fail me now, Cable. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so Restream.io, you can find that online, Restream.io, and that helps me to stream to multiple platforms. That's all I really have to say about that. Uh, the program I use for my streaming is OBS. So if you're not familiar with OBS, I'll just show that as well. There you go, that's OBS. That's the software side, and like I said, I'll do videos to talk about all of that, but that's not what we're here for. I'm gonna show you my setup real quick. This is the old GoPro that I'm using right now, so the, the quality is not the greatest, but it's more than sufficient for now. So the streaming setup for today, we have the S11. I'm using the Reloop RP8000 Mark II turntables. I'm using Phase with the latest update, so it's the wireless Phase. So no RCA is going in here, just phase here, and my receiver is over there connected to the studio computer. That fan is going on in a minute too. That right there is my yellow spot. There used to be a closet there. I got rid of that, so now I have to paint the wall. <laughs> All right, so simply put the output from my mixer, just a simple RCA out right there in the back. That goes into this device over here, my Atom Mini Pro. This is a video switcher. It allows me to switch between multiple cameras and it also takes in audio. So right now I have one, two, three HDMI cables connected. This one is the camera I'm using right here. This is my overview camera and this is the main shot of my GoPro. So right here you have this mini jack audio in. This is receiving the audio from my mixer. USB connection, again, to the studio computer over there into OBS. So this device is delivering the audio and video to OBS. Now over here, I have my Restream chat app using an iPad uh, with a special Hercules clamp. And not Hercules, the DJ brand, it's Hercules, uh, a different brand called Hercules and they do all sorts of stands. Uh, I'll show you the side of that stand in a minute. But I have an iPad here, Restream Chat. This is where I can see all of you, except for the people on um, Twitter and on Mixcloud. That doesn't show up here. So that's basically the main shot. That's my GoPro Hero 9. And right here, I have my Canon M50, giving you that top angle showing you the setup. Uh, by the way, that's my new light dome for my new light over here. I got the Amaran 100D by Aperture. They have a new budget lineup, uh, which is pretty comparable light-wise to their um, Aperture 120D, only this one is like a thousand bucks cheaper. And this uh, big dome here was like 90 bucks. It gives you a nice soft light, so you get a nice light on everything. Really, really loving that. 
Now over there is an old TV. It's an old plasma TV. And, uh, oh, sorry. I had to use um, uh, a spare cable. Let's see if it's coming back. I had to use a spare cable for this one. I hate this plug because it doesn't stay in the GoPro very well. Hold up. I just broke one of my, um, my HDMI cables today. So I had to use the backup for that camera over there. So now I have an old one in here. I hate this one. So yeah, I'll, I'll hold it uh, by hand to keep it in. Okay, over here I have another clamp, also by Hercules. That's holding my phone. So I can see Mixcloud. We got Arm TV on Mixcloud. Salute, salute, salute. Right there is my Stream Deck XL. Just got that a couple of weeks ago, bought that a couple of weeks ago. That's gonna allow me to um, just change things in OBS. So if I wanna switch scenes, I can do it here. If I wanna add sources, take sources out. So I can control that from here because I was doing that with my mouse while I was DJing. Not really convenient. Uh, back to this right here. So an old TV, right now I'm using it for Serato. Normally I use that old TV to uh, see my OBS screen. And I'll have an extra monitor here on the table for Serato. I couldn't do that setup today, so today the old TV is going to show me Serato. It is what it is. Uh, the, the, the stand right there is an Elgato multi-mount. I'll walk around. Now, this is my only problem right now. As you can see, you got cables everywhere. These are already pretty long cables, but I need to get longer ones. Those are the USB cable for the Elgato Stream Deck and for the Ata Mini Pro. They're pretty long, going to the studio computer, but I need to get extensions for those. So that's the Hercules clamp from the back, the phone clamp, and this is the Hercules iPad clamp. This is the Elgato multi-mount, and that holds uh, that camera. And I got a little extra clamp holding the GoPro right there. Over there, I got my Anchor USB power hub that powers the, um, the GoPro, powers the M50. And that white thing in the, in the back there, that is the white noise you're hearing. That is that fan giving me a little bit of coolness. Uh, so I, I think I saw one question like uh, line in. So yeah, basically the output from this S11 is going into it's called Mic, Mic 1, but inside of the uh, ATEM software, you can tell it if it's a microphone or just a line input. Let me adjust this microphone here, this little mic. Okay, one more thing. This beauty right here, you've seen it in plenty of my podcasts. That's the Rode Pod Mic, and that is also connected to a Hercules a clamp. Hercules sent me their clamps, their new line to test it. I'm gonna do a full video on them in the near future. Really liking them. So that's holding my mic and that microphone is just connected to my mixer. Am I forgetting anything right now? Um, oh yeah, of course. Headphones, makes sense, we're gonna need headphones. Trying these out today for the very first time. These are the III headphones. Finally get to test them. Uh, TM02, if I'm not mistaken. I've only uh, listened to one song on the computer. Sounded dope, so today I get to test them DJing. Anything else, anything else, I'm not sure. Well, okay, this is the desk setup. The only thing I'm using on the desk right now is the Rodecaster Pro with my wireless Go receiver. And that's actually receiving the signal from the microphone. See, that cable is messed up from the microphone that I have here. I'm not using it for the mix stream. Don't need it for the mix stream. So that was just a quick messy little overview. Uh, I'm, I'm constantly testing, experimenting. Uh, 
always testing, experimenting, and um, trying different setups, trying different stuff within OBS, different scenes. I'm still learning while I go. A lot of people always talk about like they wanna get their setups totally ready before they start streaming. Just start streaming, just start, learn along the way. That's what I'm doing. Now, of course, you need some basic knowledge before you can begin. But after that, like I'm, I'm constantly learning, constantly trying new things. And I just keep in mind that it's not going to be perfect at first and probably never. Especially if you're a little bit critical, then you're never totally content. But you try to improve over time. Um, so, uh, JB, yeah, it's, 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 it's basically... Um, it's not like a normal dynamic mic that you would use. Like if I was going out on stage, I would not use the pod mic. I would use something like either just uh, the normal Shure mics uh, or I'd bring my own V7, the SE Electronics V7, just the dynamic microphone. So it's not really a DJ microphone, but I have two pod mics. I use them for my podcasting setup. And up until this point, they've worked great for, uh, for the DJ streams as well. Really love those microphones. I have the other one right here uh, set up for the podcasts. Really, really, really like them a lot. Uh, but they're not your typical DJ mics. Okay, um, I did not check the rest of the, see if there's any more questions. So there's a question by Vinyl Touch. How does your, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Can I see it here? Scratching based on the size of the venue. Loudness. Crap. I have to check that on the iPad. It's hard to read here. Let's switch. Let's switch over here for a minute. Let's hope that stays in okay. So by the way, I think this is the best time for me to actually turn those lights down. There we go. That is something I love. I'm doing that from the stream deck. So as you can see right now, the lights went way down. So when I start streaming, you're basically just gonna see the main DJ set and not the background. And now I can do that from the stream deck here. Uh, Vinyl Touch, let me quickly just go back to your question because I, uh, I need to see. Uh, well, JB, I mean, this mic does not need, uh, I'm talking to the wrong camera. This microphone does not need phantom power. I think normally a lot of times you will need phantom power. This does not. But it's not your typical mic for DJing, for sure. Okay, so let me see Vinyl Touch's question real quick. And Fly DJ Eli had a question as well. Uh, once again, before I get into these questions, if you're watching right now on LinkedIn or if you're watching on YouTube, Facebook, make sure after this Q&A is done, you come join us either on mixcloud.com slash djtlm, twitch.tv slash djtlm, or twitter.com slash djtlm, because the mix part of the live stream can't be done on the other platform because of copyright issues. Uh, Facebook's gonna uh, just down the stream straight away. I've had issues on YouTube as well. This is my first stream on LinkedIn. I'm pretty sure they won't appreciate it, so I will not do that. So I'll give you a heads up before we switch, but if you wanna watch, and I hope you join us for uh, the mixing part because that is a lot of fun, um, make sure that you know that. Let's see. Vinyl Touch says, how does your STE of scratching change based on the size of the venue? Possible perceived loudness of scratches based on venue size, and how do you practice at home for that? Um, Okay, I'm kind of missing the, 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 the point of the, the, the question here. The perceived loudness of the scratches. Well, based on what I think I understand of the question, it's all about monitoring. So it doesn't matter if, if I'm playing in a club or a festival, I need to make sure I have a good monitor system to hear what I'm sending out. Because in my monitor, I can hear the balance between my beats and scratches. So that is what you, what you need. Um, so I'm not sure if that was the question. If that was the question, I hope it answers it. Otherwise, just hit me up right now. Let me know, um, clarify what you meant. Fly DJ Eli, 
First question, looked like a lot of fun at the event over the weekend, hats off to you. First question, what type of microphone boom arm are you using? Uh, so yeah, like I said, this is um, a boom arm by a brand called Hercules, and this is not Hercules the DJ brand, it's a different Hercules. Maybe the other Hercules is not Hercules DJ, I'm not sure, but you have Hercules, the brand that makes controllers and stuff. Uh, this brand is called Hercules and they do stands. And they reached out to uh, see if I wanted to try their new stuff for my uh, podcast, live streams. I was like, yeah. And I really like it. I have another type of uh, uh, boom arm I normally use, but it's a little bit more clunky. It's larger. This one does not take up a lot of space. It clamps on really easy. It can be adjusted in all different uh, angles. And up until this point, I really, really like it. Same thing with... Uh, let me hold the cable. Same thing with that one. It's a joy to have a, a good clamp for the iPad and a clamp for the phone. So I'll do a full video on those um, to talk more about it. Did I forget to mention anything about the setup? I think there's something I'm forgetting. I might think of it in a second. Let me see if I missed any other questions. Coco Music, I appreciate that. Let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, so for today's stream, I'll be using music from BeatSource again, like I do a lot. And if you're not familiar with BeatSource, and if you're not understanding why this is turning, I actually have this camera on my turntable, so it's moving a little bit. Beat Source is an online music store. They have a ton of music, but they also have a special service called Beat Source Link. And it basically allows you to stream their entire library in your DJ software. So today I did not make my own playlist. I'm gonna use playlists from Beat Source. And today I picked playlists that were curated by DJs uh, on Beat Source. I'm using label playlists. So I have Loud Records, I have TDE Essentials, I have Dungeon Family Essentials, Nervous Records Hits, G-Unit Anthems, uh, I had more, I had more. Let me scroll down for a second. Wait, let me do that here, that's easier. I have, let's see, where's the rest of the labels? I have more labels. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Stone's Throw. I have, uh, where's the rest? I know I have more labels. Def Jam, Rockefeller, Death Row, OVO, Bad Boy. I think that's it. That's already a bunch of labels right there. So I'm just gonna go strictly labels. So we're gonna do a little label battle right there. So plenty of music to choose from. All right, see, I don't think I missed other questions here. Let me scroll all the way down. Um, okay, got you, back to Vinyl Touch. So the question is, how does your style, if scratching, change based on the venue size? Uh, it doesn't really. I always go off my feeling when I'm scratching. Um, so it really depends on what I'm playing. If the track is hype, my scratches might be hyper more hype. If the track is more laid back, scratches are probably gonna be more laid back. I always base my scratching style on whatever instrumental I'm using. So that changes all the time. Which would you use if you had to pick? The SC6000M or the Rain 12s? Rain 12. Yeah. I haven't even tried the, the 6000M. I have a 5000M. I think it's super dope. But if I'm going to choose between a 7-inch moving platter or 7, uh, 7 point whatever inch or the 12-inch platter on the Rain 12, I think I'm going with the Rain 12. I think so. All right, so I want to uh, actually get into the mix part. So what I'm going to do now... I want to give a quick shout out to everyone in here. So again, we got Arm TV and Boogie Beats on Mixcloud. If we have people on LinkedIn and on Twitter, salute to you. I'm going to go through this list for a second. Then I'm hopping over to Restream 
then I have to turn off LinkedIn, Facebook, and YouTube. So if you wanna watch the mix that I'm gonna do now, freestyle mixing, just gonna grab tracks from the playlist I just mentioned, join us on uh, Twitch, twitch.tv slash DJTLM, mixcloud.com slash DJTLM, or twitter.com slash DJTLM. One of those three, you're good to go. So shout out to Timmy Saylor, DJ KB1, Jason M, JB, DJ Indina, Queen Caesar, Carmen Santiago, Dario Virtuoso, Loco Lopez, Jason M. Uh, let's see, Gus Gomez in the building, salute fam. Uh, Davey Entertainment, Coco Music, I appreciate that follow. Mr. Wilson, Skelly B, Fly DJ Eli, Vinyl Touch 87. Sound Horror was good. Miss Rivales, what's going on? Uh, J.R. Lamarty, I appreciate that follow as well. Uh, we saw JB, Bruce O'Brien, Charlie Z TV, I appreciate that follow. Costa Rica in the building. And let's see, Spar, what up, Spar? Appreciate that follow. Swen in the building, Kelly Kell, Cat London. Is BeatSource the way to go? Oh, that's another question. Uh, I think BeatSource is a great addition. So hopefully you already have your own music collection. And you can always build your collection, maybe using like a DJ pool. But at the same time, like using uh, um, a service like BeatSource allows me to, for instance, now freestyle, just go into some curated playlists and have fun with that, or make my own playlists on BeatSource consisting of music that I currently don't have. Um, or maybe just different versions. I really like it as an extra source. So I would always want to have some music on my own computer, but I love the service. Now, if you have the top tier subscription, then you also get to store 100 tracks offline in Serato and I think in Rekordbox. So that's great just in case there's an internet issue. But just imagine if there is an internet issue, you would want to have some music on your computer. Kill Matt from Russia, salute to you. Uh, 101, salute, salute 101, Boa Ninjas. Uh, no, my, my camera's not tracking me. I li like, this is a GoPro Hero 5. Uh, basically, everything stays in focus. Same thing with the main camera I have over there. Um, actually, I can, sh I can switch and show you. Like, the, that one will always stay in focus as well. That's the, the Hero 9. And then I have my, uh, my camera up there, the M50, which unfortunately does go to sleep every 30 minutes, so I have to turn it back on again. But when it's on, you get that top shot. Then we got Easy Promo TV. I appreciate that uh, super chat, much love. And the question is, which one is the best and what are the differences between the ATEM Mini Pro and Stream Deck XL for changing camera angles? Okay, so the thing is, in my case, I can't use the I can't use the Stream Deck to change camera angles. The camera angles, are the, the different cameras are all going into my ATEM Mini Pro, and the ATEM Mini Pro is going to the computer. So OBS only sees my ATEM Mini Pro as a single camera source. Now I can use my Stream Deck to switch between sources, but since the Stream Deck is only one source, I can't use my Stream Deck to switch between cameras. So in my case, I have to use my ATEM Mini Pro to switch between cameras. If you have a setup where you have multiple, um, multiple capture cards in your computer, uh, what are they called, for instance, like the, is it the Elgato Cam Link? Like something like a Cam Link? If, you ha if I would have like three Cam Links in my computer, then OBS would see them as three different sources. If that was the case, then I could use the Stream Deck to also switch cameras, but I can't. And yeah, I don't know, maybe in the future, because sometimes I do wanna have that option as well. Maybe I'll find a way to also add different sources to the computer. But for now, I have to do all of the camera switching on the ATEM Mini Pro, and I can do scene switches and other type of source switches on uh, the Stream Deck XL. Now I'm learning, I'm, I'm like really new to the Stream Deck, Actually, this is my first time using it in a stream. 
and I'm, I'm, I'm loving it so far, but I still have to set up like a lot of different hotkeys. Um, so I do have it set up so I can actually switch, so I can go to my scene, so I can switch to the software scene. This is where you just have my Serato screen. I also have a, um, a split option right here, which will show you half software and some turntables. So I can do stuff like that, and then I can switch back to the main one that I was using now. But if I now wanna switch to the different camera, I have to go to my ATEM Mini Pro and use that for switching. So for me now, it's just about a combo. Now, yes, I still have to do stuff by using two different devices. It would be dope if I could do everything from one device. Uh, but in my current setup, that's not possible for me. Uh, so yeah, I hope that answers your question. And again, I appreciate that super chat a lot. Uh, Suarez Live or Suarez Live, salute to you. And uh, Victoria was good. And a follow by DJ Lix, salute. And Sven, the sound quality is so strange today because I'm using this little microphone here and you're hearing a fan and I'm about to turn more fans on, but this is the, the microphone that I'm using right now. So that sounds a little bit different. If I but use this, this microphone, microphone, that's, that's a, totally a totally different, different sound, right? right? That's, that's the, the mic I'll be using in a second. second. But now I'm on this mic. Um, Iron Hammer was good. Uh, so 101 says, if BeatSource let me keep hard copies as well, I would be sold. Um, yeah, well, there's the thing. I mean, it's an online store. They sell music. They, they have a license with all of the labels to sell music. Within that license, they also worked it out so they can stream to our DJ software. But if we also would have their entire library as a hard copy, like as a copy on our computer, uh, labels are not gonna go for that because then they're basically giving all of the music away for like a small monthly fee. So that's never gonna work. That's also the, one of the reasons why you can't record internally in your DJ software when you're using BeatSource because they don't have the license to allow you to do that. Now, of course, if you wanna record your set while you're using music from BeatSource, I can just record in OBS and record my set. I could also use like an external recorder on the mixer and record my set, so there's ways to do that. Uh, Victoria, I appreciate that follow. Joachim was good. Oscar Gomez was good from Medellin. Uh, let's see, there's a free app for OBS Studio Control for Stream Elements users, Stream Control. Um, have I tried that one yet? I'm not sure, I use Stream Elements as well. I did use the uh, Elgato's like Stream Deck version for the iPad. My only issue was as soon as I lost like any Wi-Fi connection, I lost connection. Like I love the fact to have most of my stuff hardwired because that way I can be sure it's gonna work. Uh, but there are apps that can allow you to control stuff in OBS as well. Uh, more sources may be better for production, but the PC will be strained. Atom outsources all the GPU data. Uh, well, yeah, for sure, it helps. Now, in my case, my computer could handle it because I'm, on, I'm streaming from a Windows computer. And with the Windows computer, OBS can use your GPU to handle a lot of the work. Now, in my case, my studio PC is also the PC I use to uh, edit my videos. So I have a fairly powerful GPU in there. It's, it's a little bit older now because new models came out, but it's a, it's a RDX 2060 Super. It can handle a lot. Like when I stream, while I'm recording that stream and also doing some other, uh, running Serato from the same computer, my, um, my CPU usage is, uh, so right now I'm hovering around 9%. So that's of course one video source 
uh, two audio sources. I'm recording this stream right now. I'm not using Serato yet, but it is on. So I could add an, another camera source or two. It could handle it, but of course, like if your computer can't handle that much, this is a great way to do it with something like an A10 Mini. I agree. Kill Matt has a question as well. Now, of course, there are more questions. We're gonna go through the questions first. I collect my music library by folders, BPM, 70 to 80, 80 to 90, 130, 140. And in every folder, I have music style folders. Is it correctly distributed for DJing? That totally depends on how you like to play. Like for me, that wouldn't work. And I don't really see the need to do it because if I'm using DJ software and I wanna go by BPM, I can just click on the column BPM and sort it by BPM. So in my case, I would go to a, a music style, a genre, and then sort by BPM, or just use a smart crate to make a couple of rules in the smart crate to say, okay, this genre, this BPM, uh, do it that way. But I know plenty of DJs who do it like that. I also know DJs who have folders by year. In that year, they have folders by genre. In that folder of genre, they have folders by BPM, so on and so on. So you can take it as far as you want to, my solution, what I'm working on right now, is just trying to get as many tags into the song file, so as much information as possible. So I can use things like Smart Crates in Serato, Intelligent Playlists in Rekordbox, same thing, and set up a couple of rules, and then the crate will deliver the right music uh, that I'm looking for. Costa Rica says, a poor man's version for different cameras. Is there an app that allows you to use Android phone and tablet as cameras? I have one phone as a true camera and I use it via website. There are ways to do that indeed. I have uh, an app on the iPhone called Epoch Cam that's also by Elgato. If I turn on the app on my phone and in OBS I say source Epoch Cam, then it will show what I'm filming with my phone. So if you don't have a lot of cameras, you have like one camera, but you have a phone, I don't, I'm not sure if, the, if uh, Epoch Cam is there for Android, but if it is, you can use your phone as the second camera. Get like a clamp or just a tripod, like a small tripod that I have here. This is like a Manfrotto Pixie. They're under 20 bu uh, bucks, they're super sturdy. And um, just a phone clamp, like a phone holder and then you have a second camera. So, I mean, there are so many solutions coming out. That's why I love the, the evolution of technology. It allows us to do so much more and it's, it's getting cheaper. Like I said, the, the, the new light I have here, it's a thousand dollars cheaper than the light I wanted and it delivers the same amount of light. The only thing is the build quality is not as great, but I'm not traveling with this light. So I understand if you're a professional and you're carrying like the lights all over, you wanna make sure the build quality is proper. And this is not bad, but this is more plastic than metal. But mine is staying in the studio. The other one was like 1300, this one was under three. I mean, I love that those things are happening now. Uh, Iron Hammer, I appreciate that follow. Joe Charles, I appreciate that follow. Uh, yes, Vinyl Touch. I'm running Serato on Windows now. So I've used both. I've used Windows, then Mac, then Windows, then Mac. Uh, I will be using a Mac again as well. The other laptop that I have now is Windows as well, but I had some issues with it, especially with the new version of Phase and Serato. It could not get the, the non-RCA version to work. So I'm using my studio computer for that now. So I'm streaming and DJing from the same computer, Windows, Serato, um, no issue, issues at all. Everything is working uh, pretty great together. Uh, 101 says, I think that's OBS Ninja. Yes, I've seen that one too. I think that is the one indeed. Uh, Johan says, have you tried out the Omni Portable Turntable from Headache Sound? If yes, do you love it? Didn't find a review of yours uh, on it. I am going to do a review. Yes, I have one. And I really like it. I really like it indeed. So a review is coming. I've actually used it in one of my Saturday session videos as well. 
Okay, so uh, Costa Rica is using Droid Cam, so a different one. Yeah, there, there's different apps to do that, indeed. Archie Flex, I appreciate that follow. Okay, let's get into some music. Everyone on, uh, one last time, the call out. Anyone on YouTube, anyone on Facebook, anyone on LinkedIn, if you want to come watch the live stream, the mix part of the stream, come join us. Mixcloud.com slash DJTLM, Twitch.tv slash DJTLM, or Twitter.com slash DJTLM. I would appreciate it if you join us. It's going to be a lot of fun. If you're on uh, Twitch, or on, uh, no, if you're on Twitch, then you get to join in on the chat and have fun with the rest of the fam there. And otherwise, there's a couple of people on Mixcloud. Let me get to Mixcloud for a second. Trey Jackson, salute. Big Dooley, salute. Uh, Arm TV is still there. And uh, DJ Rhino is there as well. Boogie Beats still there. Uh, DJ Mo is there as well. So on Mixcloud, we got the gang together as well. So I'm gonna walk over to the computer, turn that off so we can start and turn this on. Okay, so this is working. Oh yeah, one more thing I need to show you when it comes to the setup. I need audio as well. So you had the, the, the Master 2 out, that goes to the ATEM Mini Pro. Then I have the booth out, the jack cables right there, and they're going all the way over the floor. It's crazy dark here now, I know. Um, but right here, Okay, no, I have to give you more light. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. If you can't see, it doesn't make sense. So over there, I have my monitor controller that um, takes the audio from my uh, audio interface, but I have a second audio in, and that is from the, 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 the mixer, sorry. So normally, if I have the computer audio, I have it on one. Now I'm switching sources. And then my speakers, I'm using the top speakers now, the Pioneer RM7. Now if I move audio in, there we go. Oh, you hear that? I have something else on as well. Gotta go turn that off. All right, so I'm gonna make that switch. Now if I move, it's gonna disappear in a sec. There we go. It's gonna disappear in a sec. Oh, you hear that? I have something else on as well. I think, I think that was Twitch. Yeah. My Twitch was on. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn the other ones off. Come join me. Restream. And I'm gonna turn off LinkedIn. I think that was Twitch. Yeah, my Twitch was on. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn the other ones off. Come join me. Facebook, I see 26 people on YouTube, YouTubers, all my YouTubers, join me, twitch.tv slash DJTLM. If you don't want to make a Twitch account, if you don't want to make a Mixcloud account, I'm pretty sure you have Twitter. You can come watch on twitter.com slash DJTLM as well. You just won't be able to be in the chat. That being said, YouTube, I'm gonna turn you off right now. YouTube is increasing, more people on YouTube. Yo, y'all gotta come switch now. I'm turning YouTube off right now. It was a pleasure doing the Q&A with y'all, but we're gonna get into some music. So join us 